Crime in Waco is falling, at least according to the latest numbers from Waco PD. The department says there's a 2% drop in overall crime since last year, in addition to another 2% decrease in violent crime. It is saving lives. Prosper Waco, a local nonprofit, says Waco police reported over 2,500 violent crimes last year. As of August this year, that number now dropping to 1,700. Now the department is getting some help. The Department of Justice is sending over a half a million and a half dollars to Waco to reduce that figure even further. 25 News reporter Ian Chris has more. Thomas Chandler is a Waco resident who wants to see gang violence decline. If we want to see McLennan County grow, the, the best way is by helping each other out. Waco police reported about 2,500 violent crimes last year. That number through August was at 1740, on pace to be lower this year. Prosper Waco, a nonprofit that works with the Waco PD, came up with a plan to reduce gang violence in the Waco area. Part of that plan include what's called violence interrupters. And these are folks that serve in the community to reach out to those individuals that are at high risk or already involved in gang violence. Prosper Waco says right now there are no real resources for gang members. Um, there's no real place to refer someone who says, hey, I want to get out of a gang to have that support from the community and get them connected to resources. So this particular grant opportunity would provide um, case management. Along with services for housing and earning certification, for different trades. Many people in the area have been doing gang intervention, but help is still needed. There are all these informal people in the community that are already doing some of this low-level work, and they really need some support. And as always, we need money to fund these kind of resources, and so this was the perfect opportunity to pair that. Something Thomas Chandler is excited about. Because we're all a part of the community. Right now, Proper Wa Prosper Waco is forming the groups, and they will be working with them to reduce violent crimes in the community and those involved in gang intervention and prevention.